Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about a few of my favourite things. Something which has been requested quite a number of times on my Instagram whenever I've posed the question of what you guys want to see. So, what I've done is instead of just blabbing on about me, I was thinking of a different format of how to give a bit more of my personality and give you guys an idea more about who I am. A lot of my videos, as you'll notice on my channel, are regarding skincare. They're regarding makeup, maybe a teeny bit of tech, but actually that only encompasses a teeny bit of actually what really gets me going. I don't mean like that. In terms of things that make me really happy and really represent me as a person. And remember to like and subscribe the video if you guys enjoy it. I love the love that you guys give and I always appreciate it. It means a lot to me when I make these videos by myself. Without further ado, I'm going to start with the video now. My favourite book. Harry, Harry Potter. Hands down. If it would be anything else, it would have to be the Twilight books. I don't really like reading. I have a short attention span, hence why I'm perfect for this platform. I am a massive member on Audible. If you guys are interested, go through my link. May as well. Help a hun out. I... It's this one. It's called... It's by Annie Jacobson, Area 51, An Uncensored History of America's Top Secret Military Base. This is one of my biggest, biggest passions ever. And I think about military, space, aircraft, aliens, but that's something that I definitely want to share with you guys. It's one of my biggest hobbies ever. And if I don't watch at least four documentaries one week, there's something wrong with me. If there wasn't already something wrong with me already. My favorite film. <laughs> Beautiful. White Chicks. Funniest film ever. Literally the funniest film. I'm really tempted to like give second things, but I'm just gonna go with my favorite. My favorite drink, alcoholic, would be champagne. And I hate that answer because people are like, <laughs> champagne. And it's like, really? Like, it's so, I genuinely just adore the taste. I'm also part French and it is just something that is within my blood. My favourite non-alcoholic drink would have to be Sprite, hands down. My favourite energy drink would be the original Red Bull. It's a classic, no sugar free. My favourite YouTuber. My favourite jewellery. I don't actually like wearing a lot of jewellery. My only bit of jewellery that I own is this. It means a lot to me and I've wanted one since I could remember. That is really the only bit of jewellery that I would wear. You will never see me in a necklace, ever. My favourite flower, roses. My favourite shoes, night Karachis, hands down. Favourite things in the world. They're so comfortable, they're chunky. I'm not really into this whole like massive shoe hype. Also, I'm 6'2", so I'm already tall enough. My favourite fragrance, uh, this is hard. Fragrance is probably one of my biggest passions again. It would have to be Kirke by Tiziana Terenzi. This is one that has completely stolen my heart since about last year. The fragrance of it is just so stunning. It has a mixture of woods, passion fruit, vanilla, patchouli, musk. It's so sensual and it's so like glue on your skin. If you put it on and you just even tap someone or give them a hug, they then smell of you. Similar to Twilight, it's like imprinting on them. Just for a small fee of 150 pounds. And my favorite part of the day, it will have to be evening. It's the day that I can close the door or slam whatever way I'm feeling, I can cleanse, I can take the day off, and I can really regain control of my environment. So I can have my neon diffusers, I can have my humidifier on absolute maximum, I can have my soft lighting, I can have my fairy lights on. I can control every single thing to make me the most relaxed and serene person I can be. And that I truly adore. So that's my favorite part of the day. Favorite skincare. That's a really hard question. I think what I'm gonna have to do with that is do a skincare haul. All I can say at the moment is the brand that I'm liking the most, and it is a Moravisa, hands down. In terms of products, in terms of brand, it has to be Foreo. Whether it's the UFO, whether it's the Luna, that just completely has my back with so many skin issues that I could be faced with that I will be forever grateful of the brand. My favorite food. My favorite food is probably, well, like a lot of, probably Asian. So I'm gonna be cheeky and Asian's gonna count Japanese, Thai, and Indian. Sneaky answer, but it's true. I like a bit of spice. I love how things are so aromatic. They have so much depth and they're so multifaceted in terms of the flavor and fragrances. So yeah, anything like that. And my favorite drink, warm drink, would have to be masala chai, hands down. Favorite thing, so cuddly. It's like a more exotic version of a Horlicks, which already is such a good thing. My favorite aircrafts. Okay, so this is so something that I've put in myself just because a lot of you guys may know that I like aircraft. Squeeze me out. That's an understatement and I'm gonna have to say you're wrong. I literally adore aircraft to such a level that I would sooner trade anything for my skin to 
see one of my favorite aircrafts. I'm not joking. If any of you could get me clearance into a aircraft hangar, and, and this is, I'm being completely honest, because I always joke about this to anyone that I know. If you work for BAE Systems, if you work for Boeing, if you work for Airbus, if you work for whoever, and you can get me clearance to go airside on a hangar, I will literally give you my UFO. <laughs> I will do anything within measure. I can't even say, even talking about it gets like my heart going. If I'm having a conversation with you or I'm at home and I hear either like a really different sound outside, I'm running out with my phone or my camera and I'm taking photos. If I see a Chinook, the helicopters, but yeah, total tangent, but it just means so much to me and I adore aircraft so much. Any air shows that I can go to, I will. Myself and my family are obsessed with it. Top Gun is the best movie for it. Yeah, I adore it. So my favorite aircraft has to be the A400M, which is sadly being decommissioned, which I'm gutted, but it is a bit of a guzzler in terms of fuel and resources, which is, again, not good. It is the most beautiful, mean, aggy, it's like a Mercedes G-Wagon of aircrafts. And I literally, if I, okay, so I, story time, I went to Farnborough last year. I was waiting by the bus station at Farnborough, the train station. I was waiting for a bus and so I, thankfully get a lot of good luck when it comes to things like different. I don't know why, but it's gonna make my life very interesting as it has done already so far. I look up to the sky and I see an A400M doing the test run in the air ready for the show. Like I am just the, uh, honestly, it like pretty much flew near nearly over me. It was doing loops in the air, it was going around, I managed to take so many photos and videos, it was insane. Honestly, the best thing, and to walk up near it was just so incredible. Again, I felt very like Becky from Confessions of the Shopaholic, like window shopping, I wanted to actually get inside it. Probably the whole premise of this video is basically just to get access to one. So if you know yourself or anyone who has stumbled across this video, or please share it to someone who works in the aviation industry, I would be with pleasure to meet them for a coffee in a hangar or in the aircraft, specifically the A400M. Uh, what else? My favorite fake tan has to be Vita Liberata, hands down. Whether it's the mousse or the cream, I definitely prefer the mousse. I bought the cream by accident thinking it was the mousse, fuming, and the tan and the color of this is so natural. So what I will do is I'll apply it onto the lid with a bit of moisturizer, with no silicone, so it absorbs more in. I'll use it with a makeup brush and I'll literally brush it on myself. It is slightly time consuming, but it's so worth it and it always gives the best finish. My favorite clothes designer, probably at the moment, Tommy Hilfiger, which if you watch my Instagram, these aren't photos taken in a changing rooms. These are actually things that I've spent way too much money on and they are mine. So yeah, it's a bit of an unhealthy addiction, but Tommy Hilfiger, especially Tommy Jeans, is absolutely killing it. Oh, yo, yo, check this, out. this was the sailing range. I love the colors of it. It's very fluorescent, very blue, very royal. I love the colors. The crest range that they did was absolutely incredible. The new kind of collegiate theme that they've got going in the mainline Tommy range is beautiful. I had that on the previous video, white with like, it looks like a high school cheerleader kind of top in a massive size, so it's super snug. Clothes and like things is definitely something I could go into. So if you guys are into videos like that, just write down below what you'd want to hear about. But yeah, I think I've kind of covered everything. There's obviously going to be more things that I could talk about because we're lucky in this planet to have many options to like a lot of things and exposure to a lot of things to then realize that we like even more than we already thought we did. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it short now here. If you have any other questions or what you want to know for the next video perhaps, write them down below or send me a message on Instagram and I'll be sure to add it to the list. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, again, like I said at the beginning, give it a like and a subscribe. And yeah, join the fam and I adore the interaction and the communication you guys give me. I am very, very blessed and I do not take it for granted. So with that, I am going to say goodbye. I will see you in the next video. Bye.